Hello, everyone. Welcome to Picture Book Storytime. My name is Olubumi Abonari Talabi. I'm a children's picture book author, but I am also a children's picture book fan. And from time to time, I come across a fabulous book and I just want to share it with the whole world. Today, I want to share this book with you. It's called Queen Kitami Makes Friends, created by Kunda Kids. It's written by Luisa Olafuyi and Oladele Olafuyi, illustrated by Isabel Irabo and Tiolu Yoloye. Now, I like this book because it illustrates to children, it demonstrates why it's important to play nice. And it also helps them understand if they are struggling with making friends, there could be a reason why other kids don't want to play with you. So let's read the story and find out all about how Queen Katami makes friends. All right, so Queen Katami makes friends by Kunda Kids, written by Luisa Olafuyi and Oladele Olafuyi, illustrated by Isabel Irabo and Tiolu Yoloye. Meet Queen Kitami, the warrior queen of the Mpro Roro, a luscious place where delicious fruits grow. Kitami loved to play on her sacred drum. When she played her favorite song, all of her animal friends would come. Her best friends were Ankole the cow with her long white horns and Chi the cheetah who could run as fast as a flash. Chi and Kitami loved to sprint across the land in a dash. Then there was Wodo the warthog, the most playful of all her buddies. Wado and Katami loved to roll around and get muddy. The next morning, Katami played her drums as she did every day, but none of her friends came out to play. Later, she saw Wado and asked, My friend, where have you been? Wado looked shy and said, The animals had a meeting, my queen. You are our best friend, but we'll be heading into the wild soon, so we think you should make some human friends too. Katami felt worried and said, How do I make new friends and ask them to play? And what if they don't like to play our kind of play? Chi put his paws around the queen's shoulders and said, learning to make new friends makes you braver and bolder. Don't worry about anything else, just be yourself. The very next day, Katami set out into town to look for others her age in the nearest playground. She took a deep breath and tried to be brave. She jumped right in and played the rough games that she liked to play. She pulled their ears as if they were horns and rolled around in the mud until her clothes were torn. By the end of the day, the children had had enough. They didn't like the way Katami played so rough. Kitami felt sad and thought about what she had done, but this is the only way she knew to have fun. Her animal friends joined her and offered some good advice so that next time she could get it right. Ankole, Wodo and Chi all agreed that if she followed these three steps, she'd succeed. Number one, sharing and patience make play fun. Number two, be kind and gentle towards everyone. Number three, if you make someone sad, don't worry, just say sorry. The next day, Katami went back to the playground. She took a deep breath as there was something she wanted to say. 
Kitami said sorry to everyone she hurt the other day. Kitami hugged those she knew and offered some mangoes to the rest. They noticed how nice she could be and they were impressed. Kitami and her friends had so much fun, they didn't realize that playtime was almost done. The queen learned how to make friends and be a good friend too. It turned out that making new friends could be kind of cool. They all walked hand in hand and sang out loud. Ankole, Chi and Wodo watched Kitami go. They felt happy and proud. The end. So that was Queen Katami Makes Friends, created by Kunda Kids, written by Luisa Olafui and Oladele Olafui, illustrated by Isabel Irabo and Tiolu Yoloye. So, I hope you like the book as much as I do. And my question to you is, there were three pieces of advice that Queen Katami's friends gave her to help her make friends. Do you remember any of the advice? If you do, type whether you remember number one or number two or number three, type the answers into the comment box. If you get it right, I'll let you know. Thank you for joining me for this edition of Picture Book Storytime. See you again soon.